All right, what's up, everybody? We're back, as I said just moments later, with uh, Sorty Two. As you can see up here, uh, it's uh, survival melee only. I love stuff like that because you have a couple of options. One, melee is just fucking OP, so OP in this game. Like you like take out a melee weapon and just show it to a bad guy and they just die. They just get scared and fall over and die. It's just what happens. You take out a gun, shoot them in the face a hundred times and they laugh at you and they're like, dude, are you done yet? That tickles. And then they come over and shoot you in the face with an Ogress or a Sobek and you get one shot. It's, it's absolutely bonkers to me. You empty clips into people and they don't fucking die. And then you pull out a goddamn fucking polearm, swing it once and 17 people die. It's, it's bonkers. So the way to restrict us to a limited, you know, method of play style. It does get exciting when it's primaries only, secondaries only, snipers only, bows only, stuff like that. But that brings us to case number two. You could play that said survival without ever using your melee weapon. You can just simply bring a frame with survival and killing abilities. In fact, I could simply bring a prowl. I, I could bring my prowl var. Uh, the config I have the setup right now with uh, Avara, I can literally keep her in permanent prowl and keep her energy bar full. It doesn't go down. She just sits there and prowl. I mean, she can move and, and run and all that stuff. Nope, well, not run because it's prowl, but uh, I, I'm not sure if you know this, but if you mod plus strength, it adjusts the movement speed with infiltrate. So I have strength mods on her to boost that. So she's already moving at, you know, almost 35, 40% speed. And then you run Endurance Drift for parkour velocity. Carry Telos Bolt Ace as your uh, melee weapon for the parkour velocity, which increases your double jumps and rolls. So you're moving almost as fast as you would be running invisibly in prowl and then you just run with silent weapons and you know yada 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 and you're running with an efficiency build you just you're permanently invisible it's fucking ridiculous it's like easy mode so that's just one option for the like i'm gonna play survival you could just do nothing for 10 minutes and play and that's it i'm just gonna stand here worst case scenario Every time life support hits 70%, if you hit it at exactly 70, you'll stay perfectly on cue with the spawns of new capsules to maintain life support and not run out. But it has to be precisely 70%. If it hits 60, 69, 68, as soon as it even, I know all you guys are probably giggling because I said 69, ha ha ha. If that percent, the moment it hits 69 instead of 70 percent if you even click and see that change you're already done already done you're off cycle anyway we're still on mirage i'm not running her for a melee only sortie uh survival sortie actually or rather um we are gonna We're gonna easy mode this. Well, I mean, it's somewhat easy mode. Um, this is uh, actually the same Necros that you guys saw yesterday or the day before for that um, the defense. Sword. The so this is basically a Shield of Shadows 90% DR. Combined with the Desacros. Your job is uh, to distract the enemy while a fellow Tenno operative raids the ship for much needed supplies. Make your presence known. I love how Lotus lets me know what my mission is 
Like I didn't know when I launched the mission from my ship. But I, I appreciate the help. It's it's very kind of her. And Space Mom is she's Space Mom. I love her. Uh, but that's you know a totally separate thing. Let's, let's trigger an alarm. They have just shut down all systems. Okay. I'm sending life and support I just turned capsules invisible. away. The first life support capsule has arrived. <laughs> That's, a, that's one of the, the things that just cracks me up. It's like, uh, yeah. Tano, I am detecting a synthesis target. Oh, cool. Use the synthesis scanner to trap the creature. Oh, that's... You know what's really funny? Is that I absolutely forgot. This is... I'm remembering now, obviously. But I actually forgot that this was melee only. And was just swinging melee to like break the containers and shit, not like because I had to. Those guys are kind of killing me, huh? That's a little rough. What's up? Yeah, that's not happening. Just get bent. Man. This is my uh, newly built life support incoming. Well, it's not that new, but uh, post quote 3.0 or 2.99 or whatever the fuck you want to call it, I remade a large number of my songs uh, with the adjustment of stats and all that kind of stuff. Another life support capsule not, is now available. Go away. Not even close life to what I wanted to do. I, I just wanted to put some fucking shadows on. Not like, that's what we're going to do. Um, I did plan ahead. I should have brought, like, Tonbo or my Saya Polar. Uh, something significantly more slash heavy. Just simply for the whole desecrate factor. You know, I mean, I'm, this is, as you can see, a plague grip out. It's not exactly a slash monster of doom. You know, it's, it's more kind of a pokey pokey. But it just happens to be a pokey pokey that's got corrosive stuff. Get ready for a capsule. What even would you call the corrosive stuff that will that's totally an ox. Where is it? That, oh, I don't have a choice. That's a piece of the so this is like the one time in this entire mission that condition overload would have actually been better than Prime Pressure life Point. Support has arrived. Or you could arguably say Blood Rush would have been better than a straight steel crit build there. Because I hit the dude 37 times. Um, general rule of thumb I go by is if it's five or more hits to kill somebody. It's a napalm. I expect to have to hit him a lot. That's not a big deal. If it takes me five plus hits to kill, well, let's say that guy over there, or say this guy over here. Now that was that's one. You know. See, we're we're at a point where like I swing once and you know whatever's within seven or so meters because I have range on my Life ribbon support on the way. In fact, it's, the ribbon doesn't even have good stats, but it has range on it, and I use it just because it has range on it. Oh my goodness! Absolutely just stab that dude in the chest with a finisher. That was pretty cool. Uh, Oh. This is another. It, 
well, it was 2.30 in the morning, now it's probably not, and it's much later. I know, I know, I know, it sucks to be you, there's so many procs right now, it's terrible. So do I, actually, so we're just gonna do one of those, and especially given that every time I, you know, get some loot, it's gonna be double that. Hey, look at that, you guys can't move, and then you're gonna go BOOM! <laughs> Seriously? One, two, yeah. Thanks for coming out. You know, two hits. And those are terrible hits in the first place. One, ten K. Two. So at two, prepare for two hits. But at two props, I should say. Because we're, we're talking about condition over here. So it's it's not just it's not combo, it's status condition. So Well Yo, I'm beating the shit out of that napalm. He's only got, you know, X amount of status actually on him. So it's not until you hit two at minimum status effects on a target before CO becomes higher percent base damage than primal pressure point does. And you can see how that's going on here. There is not anything with the exception of, as I mentioned, uh, the napalm, the, the things that you expect to, and the ones that you would normally carry a separate weapon for, or deal with in a different way, but, you know, melee only, yada yada yada. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I just crit that dude for 21k, like, I'm about to go boink, just kill all of them. Life you know, support on the way. There's literally no reason for me to run condition overload. Because hi, how did that feel? Like I gotta admit it the the uh, the finisher shit is pretty fucking great. Um and another thing I like too is that with the Parazon, Additional life support has uh, essentially any frame now can do the finishers. Because even Parazon, like normal mobs in the middle of like this regular game. See, that's only one proc right there. That's two. Now we would have been equal to. Now we just passed to the prime pressure point. So it would be slightly over. And we never got another one. So we would have been a little over prime pressure point on that fight with the Hawks. The Bombard died too fast for it to have mattered. See, it's, it's things like this that make the condition overload builds and the blood rush builds completely pointless for 98% of the people that play the game. And in the process of murdering the snobs, anything within X amount of feet of this dude is getting fucking slaughtered. Because, you know, ranged weapons and etc. etc. So, and well, well, as I mentioned, I, I like rebuilt my going down out Zaws there. for you, new melee. And essentially all I did was move from another life support capsule the uh like a crip handle or a uh aqua plague aqua something like that. I did a lot of my a lot of my first songs were like pure plague, you know, plague uh, like my first crip was a you know a crip box went full on. 
you know, you just got it. It's your first plague song. You know, how can you not? But it's not the number one. You know, it's not the best DPS combo. It's not the most efficient. So, especially with the way new melee works and how you know, that I decided that it was worth it to begin to rebuild and test a number of new builds. So this one here is essentially just a, 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 a similar type of saw. I don't, I don't like to use the 32% tilted ones as the way I, I think of it. Um, like 32% crit and like, I don't know, what is it, like 8%, 12% status, some crap like that. Um, like, yeah, you know, it's got, a, I don't know, probably less than that. I use the like, additional life support has split arrived. Split one way or the other Tenno. hybrids. Extraction is ready. Uh, bingo. Uh, thanks for coming out. Bunch of random awards, but a hundred endo is always good shit. Um, bugger all. That's another random. My brain went off to looking at a screen because something else changed. And anyway, um, I basically just upgraded slightly to faster Zaws, and that is basically removing the necessity for combo or combo building etc any of that stuff by the time you've even built a remotely close to combo i've already killed the fucking thing have a nice day thanks for coming out um, and indeed have a nice day and thanks for coming out that is the end of the Sortie 2 survival. As you can see, Desacros made that so ridiculously easy that all I really did was talk to you guys about the different elements of what the fuck is going on with Melee. Um, on a side note, given how powerful armor is, I mean, well, obviously we're fighting Grenier, so we're on Corrosive anyway, but with armor, everywhere right now like just don't even bother mod slash viral or any of that shit just fucking run corrosive and kill shit just trust me trust me please um yeah so for now that's it thanks for coming out probably gonna end up a little over i don't know however long i tend to babble things happen you guys all know that and I love you for it. We'll talk to you soon.